Yeah, this is episode nine of Set of Six, where we look at all things Warriors in the NRL for 2024, and there's no glossing it, is there? It's never pleasant, losing to the bottom place team, which hadn't won a game all season. But this win will be cherished by them. Their first in 2024, it's taken eight rounds for them to get over the line. And they've beaten the Warriors here in Auckland on Anzac Day. What do you reckon is not quite clicking at the moment with this team? Oh, just lapses of concentration. Maybe the attack. They just need to somehow push through to pass the line. Just got to be patient. It will come. We're one of the bottom teams for defending our areas at the moment. Um, and that, that's not something we want to be. That wasn't our identity last year. What was said in the review this morning? the main things that we've talked about. Yeah, a lot of it was um, defence and, you know, those like individual moments, and but we were just, yeah, honest and straight with each other and, um, yeah, we had a lot of clarity on what we need to do. You know, just focus on what's happening right now um, and not get too caught up in, in the red or the frustrations of, of how we of how we wish we would have went, but um, we're here right now, this is where we are, and just got to stay in the moment and, and fix up our defence. Mm, so lots of work-ons, right, with the team not hitting their straps yet. They look good when Mitch Barnett and Adam Fanua Blake are on, not so when they're resting on the bench, and the team know it too. So do the Knights again. Feels like the Wars are playing them every second week. This is actually their fifth game against them in just over a year. That's crazy. They're in good form, though. They beat the Dolphins last week without Kalen Ponga, who's not going to be playing for some time. So another big challenge for the Warriors. Good to see Bunty Arfoa and Kurt Capel back, though. Both will add starch to the forward pack. Now, while the NRL team still to really fire up, what about the Warriors under-17s? Amazing performance to win the Harold Matthews Cup in their maiden season. And that will be history in the Harold Matthews Cup. The Warriors have won it. They have come over here and won it. Obviously, a bit of a surreal moment for myself and my family, but, um, you know, great, great time for our club and, and everyone involved. So, um, you know, still... still kicking myself of the result, but um, knew deep down that we had the um, ability to get there. So, um, yeah, very happy, man. Now, we've done a full interview with TJ Ashford, which you can watch by clicking this tab up here. He talks about all sorts of things, so if you follow the Warriors Pathways teams, check it out. Now, speaking of characters, met a few more of them at the Anzac Day game at Mount Smart, which, results aside, ended up being a good occasion. Up the line! You're supposed to be out here selling donuts for Krispy Kreme, but you just said you watched the game. How, how, does that, how does that happen? I hope your boss doesn't find out. That's because I sold out all our donuts and my boss said that I could go and watch the game. I haven't watched a live game like that in a very, very long time. How long have you been coming to Mount Smart to watch the Warriors, mate? Um, 95, um, since it's 95, but uh, the Joker has, has been, been around since two, 2012. What inspired you to become the Joker? Yeah, sure. So I was at the uh, 2011 Grand Final, and uh, obviously that was a disappointment. Over that summer, I said to myself, I, how can I um, help the team get back to a Grand, grand Final? What can I do? I wasn't content with what I was doing, you know. Um, so over the summer, the, the boys go, oh, you should just you know, paint your face. You know, stadiums across the world, people paint their faces. It's a bit of fun, and, you know. And so I thought, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. You know, I'll paint my face. And yeah, over that summer. And then uh, come, I came in, see you later. <laughs> uh, round one, uh, 2012, chuck some face paint on, and uh, yeah. And every game since you've painted your face, every game? Uh, every every game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I know I asked you this before, but yeah. I'm going to ask you again. How long does it take you to do your face? Well, uh, today I only had two beers before I put the it on, so today it was only uh, just under 20 minutes. So <laughs> it just depends on, on uh, the whole game day sort of prep and, uh, and you know, if, uh, if I need to take my time. So it can be between 15 to 30 minutes, just depends, yeah. Now you need to start growing your hair, mate, because and then you could be like that darts player, Peter Wright, you know, the snake bite. <laughs> Who goes the mohawk? I used to have the, the, the long hair, um, you know, a, a few years ago, so, uh, but no, it, look, it's thinning out a bit, so I might need to wear a wig or something, but uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll keep, keep coming along. Yeah, he's a top man, the Mount Smart Joker. Catch you again next week.